Hey guys and very welcome to another video from Flying Tools and today we are going to talk about grid tariffs. So what is that? Well, I am soon going to explain that for you guys. As you know, I have earlier been with this frequency balancing and I have now stepped away from that and I am pretty much just standing by myself at the moment. So together with my battery that I have to my house, I will try to have as low costs and fees as possible from those new grid tariffs that we have here. So first of all, it's important to know the difference in kilowatt and kilowatt hour. I know that I have <laughs> seen so many who is asking, how many kilowatt is my battery holding? How many kilowatt hour can my inverter take? Well, that is completely wrong. You have to turn that around. A battery always holds energy and that's the same as kilowatt hour. And an inverter always work with power and that's the same as kilowatt. Pretty much like that anyway, you know what I mean. And my grid owner will now fee me for the amount of kilowatt that I am using during one hour. And that's because they want to fee me for the load I am putting on the grid. They are now picking out the three hours during one month that my energy uses has been on the top. So that's what I need to pay for. And the cost for those kilowatt is 81.25 crowns for me. It will be different for you if you have another supplier, of course. So now I just have to take 81.22 and multiply that with those kilowatt. And that will be your monthly fee for that load that you have been taking from the grid. This is not uh, good, of course, that we have those fees. I don't like that at all, especially if you can't do anything about it. So what can you actually do about this? Well, the only thing that we can do is to try to use the grid as much as possible during the night time or smear the kilowatt hours out during the whole 24 hour period, if so. The best thing is, of course, to try to move your uh, consumption to the night time. So that's pretty much what I am doing. And my grid supplier are then only feeing me for the half amount of kilowatt that I am using. So instead of 81.25 Swedish crowns, then it will be down to the half of that. A little over 40 crowns per kilowatt. So uh, that will, of course, be much better. But will it be cheaper? Yeah, it will be pretty hard to do that because uh, you now only have around eight hours to charge your car. You have to charge the battery to the house and uh, also heat the uh, hot water. So uh, yeah, it's not easy to, uh, to trying to have this kilowatt down. But of course, if you now are using 11 kilowatt, it will only be the half of that. So. Yeah, it can be possible. And then if the energy prices are low, I am also using my inverter in peak shaving mode. So every power that will go over four or five kilowatt, it depends on how I have set it. I am now set it to five kilowatt. And if my energy are going over five kilowatt, then the excessive amount of power will be taken from the grid, uh, from my battery during the daytime. Because as I said there, if I now use 10 kilowatt during the night time, which I'm pretty much have to do because uh, so I can fill up my battery and also charge my car, then my grid company will only fee me for the half amount of those 10 kilowatt and uh, it will be the same as uh, 5 kilowatt during the daytime. And I think that this can be great because we have now seen that sometimes during the middle of the day it can actually be really, really low on the energy prices. So I will try to have an automation that the home assistant will sense the energy prices and also sense the time when I am using this. So it will go in and out of peak shaving automatically. And then when we have hours with high energy prices, it will go into self-use mode and not take anything at all from the grid. And then again, when it's cheaper, it will go to peak shaving. And uh, during the night time, it will be full power from the grid again. 
All right, we are now going to take a look at my grid owner's graphs here. So we are going to take a look at January 2024 this time and compare those numbers with the new power tariffs that we have here, just to see how much more expensive it will be or is it possible to even have it cheaper. Let's take a look here. So here we can see a graph for January 2024. And this is just to uh, compare the power tariffs with the normal fees that I had last year. So we are going to use this uh, month here as a comparison. Uh, so what are we looking at then? Well, first we have those pillars here and that's the amount of kilowatt hour uh, during one 24 hour period. And then we have this graph here and this will show you the amount of kilowatt that I have been taking down during one specific hour that actual day. So um, what they now will do is to take the three highest peaks during this period and they have now marked that with this uh, red dot here as you can see. So the overage of those three peaks here is what I am going to pay for. And uh, you can see that we had 11.82, 12.0 and 11.77. And the overage will then be 11.87. So now I have to pay 81.25 Swedish crowns multiplied with 11.87. So we are going to take a look at how much this will cost me. So here is the cost for January 2024 and I had abonnement TID in my contract and uh, I paid 70 euro for the daytime use between 6 o'clock and 22 o'clock in the evening. And the, the rest of the time was uh, 12 euro for the nighttime then and also for the weekends. And this was only applied from 1st November to the last Mars. The summer time was always 12 euro for the rest of the time. So this was a pretty good deal. And the, the normal contract that I think that the most of uh, Swedish people has is this uh, abonnement enkel or contract simple. Uh, then it was a fixed fee regardless of the time and the time of year and pretty much everything. You always paid 30 euro in transfer fee. And then we have this new power tariff. So then we have a transfer fee at only 6.25 euro, but then a power tariff at 81.25 Swedish crowns between 6 o'clock in the morning and 22 o'clock in the evening. And the rest of the time they only calculate the half amount of the power you are using. And then we have the fixed fees here. And they have actually lowered that with 85 crowns per month from 450 crowns to 365 crowns. And uh, that's if you are using a fuse between 16 to 25 amps. So let's now look at the costs here for the contract with power drifts. So I consumed in January 1549 kilowatt hour with an overage peak at 11.87 kilowatt. And now we have to take that 11.87 kilowatt and multiply that with 81.25 and we will then have a price at 925 crowns that we have to pay. But as I said there, I am now taking this power during the night time. So we can now divide that with 2 and we will then be standing with 482.5 crowns for that amount of power I was taking down. Then we have the transfer fees that now is lowered to 6.25 euro and we have to multiply that with 1549 kilowatt hours and that will give us a cost at 96.80 crowns for those kilowatt hours in transfer fees. And then we also have the monthly fee at 365 crowns. So for this month here, the price that I need to pay when I use the energy during the night time is 944 crowns and 30 euro when I am using it the night time. If I had 
been taking this down during the daytime, the cost had been 1426.8 crowns for the day tariffs. And here I also have 60 crowns that I can be able to take off here because from April to October I am pretty much not taking anything down from the grid. So uh, this monthly fee here will be a little lower if we now break this down during a whole year. And uh, we have to be honest and uh, look at the real numbers here. So a little under 900 crowns is the fixed fees for this January. So let's now see what I actually had to pay for it uh, with my old contract. So in January I was uh, now taking down 1549 kilowatt hours again and I had a top at 11.87 kilowatt. Power tariff zero crowns and a transfer fee at 12 euro per every kilowatt hours. So we have to multiply 12 with 1549 kilowatt hours and that's 185 crowns. And then the monthly fee was 450 Swedish crowns. And I am using my energy only during the night time so therefore I will have this 12 euro per kilowatt hour in transfer fee and the cost for me will then be 635 crowns when I am using that energy during the night time. If I now had used all that energy during the daytime, uh, that's not uh, realistic but uh, here is a number, 1084.3 crowns if so. So uh, as you can see there it is actually much cheaper with the old type of uh, contract instead of this uh, power tariff contract that I now have. And um, this is now pretty much in the best case scenario. Alright guys, I really hope that I have sorted out some of the questions for you guys and also brought you some new ideas how to try to fight these power tariffs that now are coming up to pretty much every one of us in the end there. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you next time. Take care, goodbye.